What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Trevi Trev, and I'm back with another video. Hope you guys are having a great Thursday because I'm having a great Thursday. And you know, it's my day off, but it's not really my day off because I have some errands to run. And not only that, I have a lot of good things coming this week. You know, I have my cybersecurity things coming, and it's just a great week. But you know, I wanted to talk to you guys basically because something happened during my little no social media break that I wanted to discuss because this is a very important conversation and very important networking dinner that I had the other day with one of my coworkers who, you know, he's an older gentleman, you know, he's basically taking the job that I'm, that I'm in right now because, you know, he's basically retired and he just wanted like a part-time kind of assistant kind of managing gig so he can kind of guide people how to manage and things like that. And I went to dinner with him because, you know, I was always told, you know, you should try to learn as much as possible from people older than you. So I went to dinner with him, even though a lot of my other coworkers didn't show up to this dinner. So me and him just went and we had some important talks and some important conversations about how to lead and how to grow in life and basically what he sees for my future outlook in life, because he saw a lot of potential in me because he told me that above everybody else in the office, he noticed that I come to work early. He noticed that I'm better with the younger kids and he noticed that I remember everybody's name and I show a lot of good leadership quality skills and he wants to help hone that into something more. So we had dinner, you know, ironically, we had dinner at, at uh, Red Lobster, even though all the people hate Red Lobster and cheesecake and all these places. We had dinner there. We had endless shrimp. And, you know, he was teaching me a lot of things. He was even teaching me how to like a more effective way to eat shrimp skewers. But that's besides the point. He was just teaching me a lot. And I wanted to discuss this dinner because a lot of people would not take this kind of dinner. A lot of people would say, oh, he's an old man stuck in his way, but I'm not one of those people. But I'm also not one of those people that would take a dinner with Jay-Z over 500K. I'm taking the 500K and I'm making my own business. But you know, this is besides the point. I'm all over the place. But um, the dinner really influenced me because it reignited a fire in me because it's, it's good to see someone older acknowledge my work ethic and my potential in the future. And you know, he also gave me some advice and he gave me some books to read and some journals to purchase because he sees that I'm a more introspective kind of person and he sees that he can mentor me into something great. So, you know, I was just refreshing to see someone like myself who wants to better themselves in life or they're already established and they wanna just keep going. Because, you know, at my workplace, you know, in this last couple of videos, y'all have noticed, I've been kind of mad when I'm talking about my workplace because nobody is on shit at that workplace. But, you know, to see this person and have dinner with this person and talk intelligent, intelligently and converse with someone, it's so refreshing. But it's like when you get an opportunity to meet with someone and have dinner and have someone motivate you, it kind of reignites the fire in you because it reignited my fire because I want to do more work. I want to push myself and I want to see how far I can take this thing in terms of being great. And he gave me a lot of game. He gave me a lot of game about pensions and, you know, retirement funds and hedge funds and all these other things. And, you know, I would never would have got that information if I didn't go to dinner with this man like um, my other coworkers did. So I feel like I'm a step ahead of the game. And I want to give you guys some game because, you know, maybe you guys are afraid to take that next step in your career. Maybe you're afraid to have dinner. Maybe you're afraid of what people think. I just want to say, screw what people think. Do what you think is right and can advance your life. You know, just be morally guided, morally guided towards doing the righteous thing and just keep going. Because that dinner, I tell you guys like all the time how it's good to have a mentor, but that dinner, you know, solidified that, that belief that I have that having a mentor can take you far in life because you can definitely learn and grow from an older person. And don't make it weird. Don't make it weird at all. Just learn as much as you can because in this life, you want to absorb knowledge. You want to absorb knowledge. And he was telling me that because he said, I'm like a sponge. I absorb all the good things and negate the bad. And he was teaching me about the 369 journal by Nikola Tesla to be more productive. And he was also encouraging me to read, um, forgot the book. It's called The Republic by Plato. And I'm going to do both of those things to see how far I can improve in terms of like gaining knowledge and insight. So, you know, I just wanted to make this video for you guys to tell you, don't be afraid to take that dinner. Don't be afraid to take that networking opportunity. And first impressions, they're essential. It's essential to have first impressions. And you always want to make a great impression on someone because you never know who's watching and you never know what people can see in terms of potential for you in terms of like as a person or earning potential. So I wanted to put this message out there for you guys. If you're like a business person or you're just going into a field or anything, don't be afraid to communicate with other people and don't be afraid to basically just get outside your comfort zone.
And I just wanted to put that out there. I felt like it was a great dinner, a productive conversation. And I wanted to tell you my viewers about it and I wanted to see you guys grow from it. So leave me some comments of if you have a similar experience and definitely like, comment and subscribe. Um, that's gonna be my video for today. I got more stuff on the way, so don't worry. You know, my social media break has been great. This is like evidence of that because, you know, I'm living in the real world. I'm not caring what's going on with Will Smith or any of those people or anything like that. But anything that's going on in your life, it will solve itself if you put in the work. But like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you guys think, and I'm out.